show you uh, how to start quilting your quilt together. I tried to make a video the other day and it didn't quite work out. So I'm trying again today and see how it works. Um, I've already made my quilt top. I've selected my backing and gone ahead and placed the, um, the batting between the two layers. And now I'm going ahead and starting from scratch as far as my room setup because I want to show you how quick and easy you can have it if you halfway organized. Alright, so here I go. I have these wonderful tables. Keep them under my bed. And I have two of them. I'm not sure if I'll need this right now, but I will go ahead and slide it out just in case. sewing machine table but this one is my favorite and it's old my sister informed me that it is an antique I don't care I love it my husband thinks it's a piece of junk but I love it my chair is also in my closet I will show you my closet. Not today, though. You may think that I'm working around like I'm in a race or something. I usually do try to work kind of fast because I have limited time and limited space and lots of things that I try to do in 24 hours. Okay, my sewing machine is ready, it is on. It, already, it always defaults to stopping with the needle up, so I have already touched the button to tell it to stop with the needle down. Here's my presser foot. This box right here has my presser foots and a lot of other little accessories. For this project, I'm going to use this presser foot right here, which I absolutely love, and I use it for many other things other than quilting. I do try very much to be frugal, but I do buy things that I feel like will make my life easier. Um, I like making things, but I will have limited time, so if I feel something will save me time, then it's saving me money. Because I feel like my time is money. That probably sounds like an old businessman, doesn't it? <laughs> like the one I work for. All right, here is my quilt top. I have had it laid out on my bed, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on it. It's all laid out. Probably took me, I had to iron the backing fabric really good. It probably took me about 10 minutes to lay it all out. Change that 
Mr. Foot. Oh, I already have my bobbin and my top thread from the last time I was working on this project, so that's pretty good. Try to lay it as flat as possible. Probably one of the hang-ups for why I started the blog earlier is I worry about perfection. But maybe it's good that I'm not perfect because this project is about being able to do things even if you're not a perfect person. You just perfectly want to do something nice for somebody. And this presser foot, why it's so wonderful is it allows you free motion with the fabric. Um, I can just start stitching like I'm drawing with a pencil. making it up as I go along. I'm going around um, kind of the designs on the on the block a little bit. I could have gone squared around it or whatever, just whatever you want. I'm doing the back end, and I think part of the problem is that I am in such a hurry. I should probably, between each between each um, stitching session, whatever you want to call it, I should probably um, take it back out from the sewing machine, lay it back out, make sure there's no puckers underneath or anything. But I don't do that. I am kind of in a hurry, so I just go ahead and keep going. Um, I'm, I am like like spreading it with my hands and stuff like that, and hopefully it'll be all right. I'm working up the middle, and when I'm done with the middle, I will lay it back down and flatten it back out. Um, so anyhow, um, done around one block so far. And it took me, I don't know, just a few minutes, however long this video is. And now I'm going to turn it off and get back to you with the final, it's all done, and do the binding. And yeah, my next session will be doing the binding. All right, thanks. Bye.